Hi, um, today I'd like to talk about what a financial model for an early stage startup represents. And uh, I know that uh, we've um, talked before uh, in terms of what you can learn from a financial model and how to formulate assumptions for a financial model. But I think the four fundamental question is, when you have a company without any financial history, what do those financials mean? And that's what we're going to discuss today. My name is Victoria Yampolsky, and I run the Startup Station, and I help startups create their financials at a very early stage. So when you start to think about creating a financial model for your pre-revenue startup, Think about it as a quantitative representation of your business plan. So what you're doing is you're simply expressing your business plan, your business model, your go-to-market strategy in quantitative terms. And this exercise will allow you to evaluate whether what you're trying to do makes sense from the financial perspective and to really see in financial terms how your company is going to evolve based on your vision of your company right now in the next five years. Now, this does not mean that a financial model is a crystal ball and it's going to predict your financial performance. A financial model is your financial plan and it outlines what you're planning to do and of course as you get more information from the market a financial model will change just like it changes for any company even big publicly traded companies where there is a lot of information available just uh, remember that even those companies only give guidance for three months because it is so hard to predict what the financial performance is going to be. For a startup, the uncertainty risk is even higher, and therefore your financial projections may change drastically once you get more market data. However, at the point when you're raising money, what you want to portray to investors is that you have a plan, you have thought it through, and you have a blueprint against which to measure the effectiveness of your plan. So that if you find out that you're not hitting the financial goals as you've planned in your financial model, it is time for you to take a step back and reevaluate what you're doing. And this makes you a lot more prepared to face uncertainty, to face market feedback than others who are operating in the dark and don't really have anything uh, to compare their performance against. Right, so a financial model will help you evaluate the financial feasibility of your business, will provide a tool to measure the effectiveness of your strategy, and will also help you make sure that you create a business that is sustainable in the long term. And what I mean by that is when you're done with all of your numbers, you're going to calculate a lot of the ratios that measure the financial performance and the financial health of your company. And you should make sure that those ratios are in line with your competition or better. Because if even right now, with all the information that you have, you're building a business that is not projected to perform in line with what the industry expects, you're not building a sustainable business. And that is, of course, bad news. Even though, right, even though a financial model cannot be a predictive tool uh, in terms of how much money you're going to make, it can be a planning tool and an analytic tool. And I highly recommend that you use it so that you can build a better business from the start. If you like this video, please uh, share it with your friends and colleagues. Comment below, like it. And to learn more about how to build a financial model for your business, check out the Startup Station's website for our curriculum that's going to take you from start to finish, from the accounting basics all the way to putting together a model in our case study from the beginning 
till the end. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.